Hello, I'm Charlie Lowndes and this is just a quick run through of some of the things that you might find useful when you first do an Adobe Connect tutorial or learning event as we've learned to call them. Um, probably the most important thing to do is to set up your audio and you can do that by going to the meeting menu and selecting the audio setup wizard. Um, pretty obvious really. You just follow the instructions um, there's a test sound. I don't know who composed this, but they should be uh, quietly retired. So we know if that comes out of your loudspeakers or in your ears, then you know that's working. The next thing is to make sure that the right microphone is connected if you've got more than one. You should have done that before you started, um, particularly if you're using a Windows machine, but you uh, just check that and then move on to the next bit and record a word or two. So this is recording a word or two, and I can see the um, meter there working away, and then we can play it back. So this is recording a word or two. That seems to be OK. Uh, so having done that, I can move on and test the silence. I'm not going to test it all, but that's to do with noise cancellation, I think. So when that's all done, we can press Finish, and notice that we've still got to activate the microphone. Um, we've set it up, but there's a button up here which we need to click to connect our audio. And notice that sound waves start coming out of the little icon. That means that your microphone is live and anything you do or say will be heard by everybody who's in the room. So it's a good idea to mute that unless you've got something to say. You've also got controls over your speakers. You can mute those and adjust volumes and so on. Uh, so if you do have volume problems, you can play around with, with that. Mine's in the middle and it seems OK to me. Uh, if you've got something to say, by the way, during a tutorial, you've got various status options here. Uh, you can stick your hand up. You've got green ticks and red crosses. If you're used to OU Live, a lot of this will be familiar. Uh, and you can do other things as well, like applaud your tutor. Having sorted out the audio setup and activated and then muted your microphone, uh, see if there's anything else to play with. There might be some web links. Uh, I've set up a couple here. Um, if you select the one you want to and click on Browse to it, uh, it should... Um, oh, those are already open. Let's just prove that that works. Um, so I've got a, a browser that hasn't got that window open, and if I click on it, the browser should come into the foreground and open up that page. Um, if I look at the other one, Study Skills for Time Management, and go to that, that will also load up uh, and go to uh, a new tab if you're using Chrome in the way that I am. Um, it's quite a good way for tutors to display YouTube videos because they can uh, be a bit iffy running in the Adobe Connect environment, but running natively on your browser, that's uh, often easier. What else might you see? Uh, you might see a list of attendees. Here we are. Um, there's me with my microphone in Adobe Connect is muted, but not on the software I'm recording this with. Uh, I can unmute it and that goes away. And of course, any status things like putting my hand up appear in the attendees list. Um, there aren't any other participants. I'm a lonely old tutor today, so if this were a tutorial, I'd hope to see a few names under there. There's also the chat pod. I've already used that to say hi, uh, and I'm going to say um, something immortal. Um, and as soon as I type that and press enter or return, that'll appear in the chat room and everybody can see it. So again, a fairly standard trick in this kind of um, video conference learning. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show you, there's a connection status icon up here. If I click on that, I can get some numbers, uh, which will show that I'm uplinking about 46 kilobits per second, downlinking 8 kilobits per second, not a lot, and the latency is um, around a millisecond or less. So the system requirements aren't huge, even when there's a lot of people involved. Um, so you should be able to communicate over even quite a, a feeble link. So you don't need to worry about that. You get that status panel just by toggle, toggles on and off when you click on there. There's help, of course. Um, audio we've already touched on. The other thing, the layouts and pods are really for 
uh, meeting hosts to play around with. Um, so that the main menu options you'll be playing with are the uh, going to the audio setup wizard and sorting that out. You have got a full screen option uh, that can be useful if you want to uh, see things in more detail. The rest of it um, is pretty much for tutors to manage. So good luck. I hope you enjoy Adobe Connect. I'm getting used to it myself. I I have used it before in in, in other environments. Um, and I think one of the big things I notice is that the sound is so much better, which I do appreciate. Good luck, enjoy your tutorials, and have fun!